Would you like to discover the vital functions of living beings? In this video by The Daily Eagle, we provide a detailed explanation of, of these functions, accompanied by examples to help you better understand them. The vital functions of living beings are the essential biological characteristics present in all organisms considered alive. Unlike non-living things, Living beings exhibit complex functions and traits throughout their growth and development. These vital functions enable them to survive and establish ongoing relationships with their environment, including individuals of the same species and other species. All living beings on Earth share these vital functions. We can identify six of them. Birth, respiration, nutrition, adaptation to the environment, growth, and reproduction. However, these functions are often grouped into three main categories, nutrition, interaction, and reproduction. Nutrition. This vital function enables living beings to grow and develop by acquiring the necessary nutrients. There are two types of nutrition, autotrophic and heterotrophic. Through these nutrition processes, complex food chains or networks are established in ecosystems. Respiration is also a part of this important function, as it allows living beings to acquire the energy needed to sustain enzymatic processes within their cells. For example, plants convert inorganic nutrients, such as water and light, into organic components through photosynthesis and respiration, supporting their growth. But before we continue, let's put your knowledge to the test. Complete the following sentence. The feeding of plants is autotrophic, heterotrophic. Both of the previous answers are correct. Think about it carefully because at the end of the video you can check if you were right interaction. The vital function of interaction allows living beings to receive information from their environment and respond to it for survival. In plants, this function is based on their response to chemical stimuli. They possess complex chemical and physical mechanisms in their roots, stems and leaves to receive and interpret these signals. For example, Plants close their stomata when faced with water stress or a lack of water, in order to avoid drying out. In animals, the interaction function involves sensory organs and complex nervous system, enable them to communicate with other living beings and respond to environmental changes. Reproduction Reproduction allows living beings to multiply the number of individuals within each species, thus creating new generations. The third and final main vital function is reproduction. It allows living beings to multiply the number of individuals of each species and create new generations while transmitting their genetic information. There are various types of reproduction, mainly grouped into sexual reproduction, which requires involvement of the two individuals of different sexes, and asexual reproduction, which doesn't require mating between individuals. Some organisms can even alternate between both types of reproduction, depending on environmental conditions or their development stage. And going back to the question we asked you earlier, have you thought it true? The correct answer is A. The feeding of plants is autotrophic while that of animals is heterotrophic. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Let us know in the comments if you knew about these vital functions. And until next time.